today we're going to talk about one of the messages that I tend to get a lot, not as much as I used to. When I used to live in Dubai, I would get a lot more messages like this. But this might benefit you, like if you're learning Arabic or you're living in an Arabic speaking country and you're not really sure how to respond to this. Okay, so Shannon, I have a question, a personal question, and you have the freedom to respond. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, he said, given like you're pretty, you're, you're so versed in Arabic, have you thought about Islam before or have you like researched about Islam? Islam. And my answer is, well, yeah, I have thought about Islam. I've thought about Christianity. I've thought about Buddhism. I've thought about Judaism. I've thought about Mormonism. Well, I was raised Mormon, so I didn't really have a choice whether to think about Mormonism or not uh, as a kid. So, um, yeah. Uh, and for me, like, I've read the Quran when I was living in Dubai. I mean, I've read most of the Bible, I think. I've read the Book of Mormon. I've, so if I've read the Bible, I've probably read the Torah because I, I heard the Torah is like, that's like the Old Testament. Anyway, in a nutshell, like, I consider myself kind of a student of life. Like, I don't subscribe to any particular religion. But uh, when I was getting this question, like, all the time in Dubai, it was kind of, for me, I was like, uh, like, I, I respect that you're, like, proselytizing. Like, I mean, I think it's cool you're trying to, like, spread something that you love and that's brought you a lot of joy. Just like for me, like, when I have a great show or I'm, like, a great book that's affected me, I try to share that as well with my friends. So I totally respect that and I think it's cool. Because I was raised in a very religious household, I kind of, I respect and I appreciate people's desire to, you know, bring other people to, you know, their, something that's helped them in their life. But at the same time, you know, when it was becoming kind of overwhelming, like I would ask my teacher in my Arabic class, I said, what do I respond when they keep saying this to me? And she told me something that I always use now, and it's, it's actually a line from the Quran. Lekum dinakum wali din, which means you have your religion and I have a religion. The other way I've heard it is like, li dini wa lekum dinakum. But it, yeah, so it's like saying like, you know, respect my, like I have my religion, you have yours. Even though I'm not really religious, but like that's something that you say and to kind of get people to kind of like, to kind of close the, in a respectful way, you know? It's like a respectful way of saying like, you know, I appreciate that, but no thank you. Like, like thank you so much. Like I love that you're doing that, but I also like, I'm, it's not for me. Um, right now in this time, like you have your religion, I have mine. Like that's, a, that's something that you can say. But in terms of experiences, to give you some more like background, I remember back in 2012, I was working as a promoter for Cadillac. There was during the Dubai Motor Show and I was still kind of a beginner in Arabic. Like I was learning from Al-Kitab, like the Fosha words. So I was like, Assalamu Alaikum. Ana Taliba. Adrus Arabi. Like, you know, like that. And, um, <laughs> I remember there was somebody, like a Khaliji, like he was wearing like a thobe and stuff and he, somebody who came up and I like struck up conversation because I'd always strike up conversations with strangers who looked like they spoke Arabic because I wanted to practice. So uh, this guy was like, you know, being friendly, making conversation and I told him like he, uh, that I'm using a book called Al-Kitab, which means the book. Literally it means the book, Al-Kitab. I said, yes, Ana Adrus Al-Kitab. And he's like, Ana Indi le kitab that. He's like, oh, I have another book for you. Do you want to read it? And I was like, sure. And then I realized he was like talking about the Quran. And I was like, oh, I mean, I was like, oh, no, no, I already have one, you know. And I, I did, I did have one. And I remember too, like, because I'm very friendly. Like, I remember, like, I shook his hand, and, and it seemed like, I didn't know at the time that, like, a woman shaking a hand of a guy who's not a family member was kind of a big deal. Like, some guys still don't do it. Like, if you put out your hand, they go like this. Sorry if I hit the mic like this, or women like like this, it just means like, um, no thank you, like, not because of COVID, this is way before COVID, it's um, some, yes, culturally, like some people, like they don't touch the opposite gender, unless they're family members, so anyway, but I put on my hand to shake his, I didn't know that at the time about this, this cultural difference, but, and he shook my hand, his hand was like very like sweaty and clammy, I was like, oh, I think I, I probably made him feel uncomfortable, like, I think he was like nervous or whatever, but, it's weird what we remember, right? But yeah, so he offered to give me a Quran and I was like, oh, oh, I already have one, you know? And, um, and actually after I read my copy of Quran, of the Quran, 
one of my colleagues told me to put me, put it in my car, like in my glove compartment, because it's like for protection. I did it just because I was like, okay, I'm gonna like fit in, you know, I'm gonna do it in my car. Also, in 2013, there was a show called Arab, Arabs Got Talent, like America's Got Talent. And there was an American girl who sang in Arabic very well. And I think she ended up getting like third place in the whole show. But I remember in the aftermath of that show, some videos of her went viral. Uh, and in those videos, she was like converting to Islam. Like she was reciting the Shahada, which is like, La ilaha illa Allah, Muhammad Rasul. Like you say these words, and then you're a Muslim, right? Saying that there's no God but God. Like there's only one God, and then that Muhammad is a messenger of God. It's like, they, so when you say that, you're like a Muslim. In the aftermath of that, like people were like, you know, big, like they were, people were like uh, congratulating her, like publicly, oh, ehna fakhreen, uh, fakhreen fiki, like we're so proud of you good luck on your new journey and blah, blah, blah. And, th and you're so happy you embraced Islam and all that. And I was like, wait, what changed? Like she read some, I mean, not trying to be like cynical or whatever, but why is that like considered such a big accomplishment? Like, I mean, I, and I, I respect people. Like, I respect that she did that. Like, cool. Like she did what she wanted to do. As long as nobody, like nobody forced her. She wanted to do that it was her thing. But the way they like broadcasted it and like make it seem like this is something you should be praised for. That's kind of what I took issue with at the crux of it is that people try to like box you into something with labels like a religion, you know, and that's something I definitely take issue with. It's like, okay, now we got dibs on her. Like she's one of us. She was always one of you. I was always one of you. Your person, neighbor down the street was always one of you. Like we're all humans. Like let's just not make more divisions between us. That's just my thoughts on everything. I think I've said this before, like I'm spiritual, not religious. I mean, one of my favorite like brands right here, Spiritual Gangster, but um, that's not why I wore this. It was just like clean and it's comfy. So anyway, yeah. The reason I don't subscribe to a particular religion is just because like partially because of that is like, I know what it's like to be kind of like, to feel like you're boxed in by a label. I mean, I have 14 siblings and growing up and going to school, my teachers would be like, oh, like you're a, like they'd say the last name that I had before. Uh, oh, you're one of this family. Oh, you're so-and-so's little sister. And I hated that because it was like, oh, you think you know me. It's like, you think you know me. I, I, where's my opportunity to be who I am and prove who I am for myself? And I actually remember one English teacher I had in seventh grade, I believe. She said, you're not like your other siblings. I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> And she said, like, you're more, like, mainstream. Like, she said, like, you're more normal, I think is what she said, which in hindsight is like, oh, my God, I can't believe she said that. But she said, like, you're more normal. <laughs> I think that's what she said. If, if it's not what she said, it's what I heard. Uh, so I know what it's like to be kind of, yeah, like, labeled by something that you didn't design yourself. Like, I'd rather be judged for, if you're going to judge me, like, base it on my actions and what I've done and things like that as opposed to what my older, you know, somebody from my family or somebody from you know, the same religion or somebody from the same cultural background has done. And if I do something great, then does that mean that my sister's automatically great too? Like she could be a complete loser, you know? It's just like, I don't know, because people, I think that it's like simpler for them to compartmentalize. But for me, I think because of like what I've been through and because of my childhood, I just, it really bothered me a lot. And what I mean when I say like I'm spiritual, not religious is like, I don't want to subscribe to a particular religion. And I feel like, you know, every time I do something positive or think something good about somebody else, or, you know, do something to help bridge cultural gaps, that's, I mean, that's religion for me. That's like my equivalent of religion because it brings me peace. It makes me happy. It makes me more satisfied and, and I guess gratified in the sense where I feel like I'm contributing something to the world, like when I'm helping others and doing good for others. I don't call it a certain religion, I just call it my spiritual practice, I guess. I mean, I like to help others and I like to contribute things and, you know, whether it's helping others through like giving charity, like materially, or like, you know, giving from your time to teach something or giving, you know, in any other way, it's something, if it's something that's bringing you joy and happiness and peace and love and all that, it's good. I support it. You can call it a certain religion. You can call it not a religion. 
I don't care, like whatever's bringing you joy and happiness, I support that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm curious if this has ever happened to you. Like if you're learning Arabic and you've been asked this question, what did you say? How did you respond? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time.